morning. I've forgotten left my teeth in. So I, I can't talk plain with my teeth in. I'm used to not having them in. So uh, uh, you just bear with me. You know, most people, uh, they can't talk with a mouth. <laughs> I can't talk with them in. But that'd be all right. Look in the book of Psalms, 113. Psalm number 113. <clears throat> Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, his glory above all heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God who dwelleth on high? who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in earth. He raises up the poor out of the dust, lifteth the needy out of the dunghill, that he may set him with princes, even the princes of his people. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. So I want to give a... Uh, uh, just a few thoughts on verse number three. From the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same, the Lord's name to be praised. Uh, Ronnie sings a song about the rising of the sun. And we're not talking about we're not talking about the ball of fire that we see coming up in the morning, but we're talking about the rising of the Son of God. Praise the Lord Amen. for the rising of the Son of God. Sure. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would help us today to preach. Lord, give us something, Father, that we could uh, tell our people about the amazing grace of God. Lord, how that on uh, this Resurrection Sunday, Father, they got news. The tomb is empty. He's not here. Come see the place where the Lord lay. I pray, Father, you'd help us now as we preach in Jesus' name. Amen. Notice again verse number three. From the rising of the sun uh, unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. Amen. When we think about sunrise, uh, uh, that moment when the, when the darkness is dispelled, Amen. when the rays of light and alive on, on the horizon. Uh, scientists, which uh, I'm getting further and further away from, but, but scientists tell us that the sun doesn't rise. They say uh, it's an optical illusion caused by the movement of the earth, kind of like the illusion that you live in a free country. Yeah. It, it's an optical illusion. It's not really true. Amen. It, uh, uh, of course, I understand the only reason we're here this morning, uh, or not supposed to be here rather, is because they are concerned about our safety. Another optical illusion. Amen. They are not concerned about us at all. We are under house arrest as a trial run to Amen. see how we will react as a nation of free people yeah, when a right. dictatorship yeah. has been applied to us. Yeah. I see this just for your information. I heard this Fauci guy. I was listening to him, and they asked him what would be the cure, and he said a vaccination. Yeah. A vac believe me, brother, vaccination's the problem. Amen. But, but nevertheless, he said the cure is a vaccination. He said, well, how are you going to administer it? He said, I think we should mark people who have been vaccinated. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, where are we living today? Amen. Uh, the uh, illusion, just like the sun coming up is an illusion. But here's some benefits of the sunrise. Uh, the sunrise can actually lift your spirits. Yeah. Amen. 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 Emotionally, Amen. it can actually make you feel better to know the darkness is gone Amen. and that the sunlight is is up. In, in the wintertime, people 
uh, get what they call cabin fever. Yeah. And that contributes to depression and feeling bad and mood swings. And they say the way to cure that is get out in the sunlight. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm preaching this morning about the rising of the sun. Amen. Get out in the sunlight. Yeah. Sunlight will relieve stress, Amen. they tell us. Uh, uh, weeping endures for a night, but joy comes Amen. in the morning. Vitamin D comes from sunlight. Builds strength in your immune system. It will help you to where you do not have to face the challenges of diseases just be, being in the sun. Yeah. If we stay away from the city lights and get in the sunlight, yeah. if we would stay away from the TV Amen. and the computer, uh, uh, we will develop a natural cycle, they tell us. Yeah. I remember that my grandfather, who come up in a different age, he was born in 1885. And I remember that whenever the chickens went to roost, he did too. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. He had this cycle in his life yeah. that nighttime was a time you were supposed to sleep yeah. and daytime was a time you were supposed to be awake. Yeah. Well, I didn't mind him going to bed at uh, uh, 6 o'clock in the evening, but man, when he got up at 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning, I'd say, what's the matter with that old man? <laughs> well, what was the matter was he had a cycle in his life that wasn't affected by TV screens and movie screens and computers. Uh, and he had the proper cycle. And they say that getting that proper cycle will actually make you live longer. Sunlight. Psalm 127.2 The Lord giveth his beloved sleep. Nightlights take it away. I don't know whether you realize that or not. But uh, uh, there are good effects from the sun. Uh, it, it lifts your spirits, uh, it gives you vitamin D, it helps your sleep cycle. Of course, then there's harmful effects from the sun. Yeah. When you get exposed to the sun unprotected, right. you're getting ready to get burned. Yeah, amen. amen. To be exposed to the sun without something to cover you, that uh, make a Presbyterian preach. Yeah. Something between you and that sun yeah. to keep its rays from burning you. Yeah. Uh, you get out there and work in the summertime and, and you can have what we call heat strokes. Yeah. You get too hot. Uh, hey man, you think you're going to get a, a heat stroke now? You wait until that time when the sun comes back up again. Yeah, Skin cancer. Revelation chapter 16 verse 9 says that, that the men uh, were scorched uh, and cursed the God of heaven yeah. who had power over these lights. Yeah. Malachi chapter 4 verse 9, the Bible said the sun's coming up with healing yeah. in his yeah. wings. Yeah. Uh, the sun's coming up. Yeah. Uh, I think the angel announced that morning, we'll call it Easter morning, uh, uh, we'll probably preach about that in the, another service, but, but just say that quote first Easter morning, the angel announced, the sun's up. Yeah. <laughs> He's not here. Amen. He arose just like he said Amen. he would. Amen. The sun's up. Uh, God can accept us now in the beloved. Uh, had it not been for Calvary, uh, had it not been for the cross and the empty tomb, uh, the goodness of God would never have been possible. But thank God the sun's up. Amen. Amen. We can rejoice today. It said here, praise Him. Amen. Praise Him for salvation. Praise Him this morning for redemption through His blood. Because of the rising of the sun, we can boldly enter into the presence of God today. We could not do that before the sun came up. They had ways of getting around it just like credit cards. But the debt was not paid until the sun arose that morning. Yeah. You say, well, well, uh, God, where is God? God is everywhere. Uh, but he has a throne. He has a specific location outside of the universe, but yet a physical location where he manifests his glory, and that's in a throne in heaven. 
cherubim are stationed at the gate and at the door, if you will. No admittance. Keep out. This means you. But listen, now that the sun's arisen, thank God there is a way open into the holiest of holies. Everything that hath breath should praise the Lord because the sun's up. Amen. Amen. They tell me that singing and talking to plants helps them grow. Now I'm not a hoarder. Thanks. Uh, but but they say uh, that that if you want it to grow, then then you speak nice, kind, soft words to it, sing sweet music to it. We're like plants around the table of Amen. God. The Bible says, "Speak to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, yeah. singing and making melody in your heart." What could I sing about? I could sing about the sun being there. I could say that this morning the Son of God has arisen with healing in His wings. Yeah. Do you ever read the starting at I think it's verse uh, 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 one of uh, Psalm one forty six? Did you, let, let's turn over there with me. Verse one of uh, one forty six. Yeah. Verse 1 of 146, you got it? Yeah. Uh, well, why don't somebody read it to me? Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Amen. Somebody read uh, Psalm 147, verse 1 to me. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, for it is good to sing praises unto our God, for it is pleasant, and praise is coming. Somebody sing or uh, read Psalm 148, verse praise 1. How about 149? Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise in the congregation. Of How about 150? Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Now Psalm 146 gives us a reason to praise God. The reason that that author said was because he's trustworthy. Amen. I mean we ought to praise him because there's something solid in a world that's not stable, there is a rock solid and we need to praise the Lord for yeah. it. Psalm 147, it's good just to sing His praises. Yeah. I always said that if you're saved, you've got a song in your heart. Amen. You may not be able to carry a tune, but you've got a song in your heart yeah. because the Lord puts one there. Amen. Psalm 148, uh, 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 creation fulfills His word. That everything that we see is a fulfillment of the Word of God. 149, uh, uh, we need to praise Him because He takes pleasure in His people. Amen. He likes us. Can yeah. you imagine that? Why in the world? I don't even like you. But He does. <laughs> he, he loves us. He loves us enough that He gave His only begotten Son. Psalm 150, praise Him for His mighty acts. Yeah. Of course, you know, how that, you know how that psalm ends? How the book of Psalms ends? Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Amen. Now our earthly son gives us uh, optical illusions. Yeah. But Jesus gives us optical intrusions. Amen. <laughs> One of these days he's coming back yeah, and he's going to uh, uh, intrude uh, into our atmosphere. Yeah. And every eye shall see him, Amen. the Bible said. Sunrise, they say, will lift your spirit. But when the S-O-N rises, when the sun rises, it'll lift your body. I believe he will really take your body out of here. Rapture term secret because nobody will see it but the saved. I mean, they'll be looking for what's all them cars parked out there for nobody inside. Uh, Lord God help it nobody be inside of Esther Memorial Baptist Church. I got a feeling there'll be some of them will be won't even disturb the service. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 for the for us, I, uh, nobody home because because the sun has risen. Yeah. The, the supreme note in eschatology is uh, not that it was a secret, but that it's certain. Yeah. Right. Amen. Whether they see it or whether they don't see it. 
It's coming one of these days. Amen. Well, they say the sunlight builds your immune system. Uh, sunshine builds a whole new body. <laughs> you think about that. When the sun rises, a whole new body. Amen. Yeah. That first Sunday morning, uh, uh, they came to the tomb at the breaking of day. Luke 1, 78, uh, and that the tender mercies, uh, uh, we have been visited by the day spring from on high. Amen. That is the sun's come up Amen. from on high. Uh, uh, till then the whole world sat in darkness. Yeah. But the sun's up. Yeah. The king of eternity has came. Amen. Sunrise dispels darkness. Yeah. In scope wherever it shines. From, from Fort Ord, California to Charleston, West Virginia. From the nation of Israel back to Kanoa County. Wherever that sun hits. I remember when I was stationed in Fort Ord. I would uh, call Shirley at, uh, uh, well, four in the afternoon. But it would be dark back here in West Virginia. Yeah. And uh, Israel, if, if we would call at two in the afternoon, it would be nine o'clock at night when Molly would answer the phone. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying the sun rises on different places at different times. Yeah. And different people gets it at different times. There are people here that the sun hasn't risen very uh, long ago. There are some of you that the sun arose 50, 60 years ago. Yeah. Different places at different times. But I'm glad that the light shined in my prison Amen. one day. Yeah. Amen. Uh, you know, there's an Easter sermon uh, when Peter was locked up in jail. Psalm 113.9 says, The barren woman. Once you notice that, I, I'll kind of close with this. We're back in the Psalm 113. said, The barren woman gets to keep house. Yeah. She gets to have children. Amen. When I think about that, you know who comes to my mind? Hannah comes yeah. to my mind. Amen. When, when Hannah went in there and, and uh, she... Uh, uh, prayed before the Lord, said, Lord, give me some children. Yeah, right. If you'll give me one, she said, Amen. I'll give him to you. Yeah. Just give me one, and I'll give him to you. And uh, the Lord answered her prayer. Yeah. She got that one, she gave him to the Lord. Do you know that, that he gave her six more? Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever read that? In yeah. First Samuel chapter, or Second Samuel chapter 2, 20, more than he asked for. Samuel had three brothers and two sisters, five more. We've got barren churches today. Yeah, amen. Could we not pray, Lord, would you allow the sun to rise on our barren church? Yeah. Yeah. Our, our nation is barren today. Yeah. We're a people that's sitting in great darkness. Yeah. And what we need is the sun to come up. Yeah. I can preach, but I can't make the sun come up. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But you pray, and God can cause. Look at that. Can we look at that again? Is that Psalm 113? Isn't that odd how that ends after all that praise? Psalm 113, look at verse 9. He maketh the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother of children. Praise you the Lord. Amen. Wouldn't it be good if Esther just say, man, the sun's come up around here. Yeah. We've had darkness for years. Wouldn't it be good to have the sun shine Amen. in our life again? Our Heavenly Father, thank you for these, your children that came out, Lord, to worship you this morning. I pray, our Father, for them. I pray for their families. Lord, we're glad that the sons came up. We're glad, Father, that that early morning, that Sunday of the resurrection, when they came to the tomb, the, the angel said, Why well, seek you the living among the dead? He's not here. He's risen, just like he said he was.